All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install an Instagram Python bot or Instapy. The things that we're going to be doing in this video is installing Python. We're going to do a pip install of Instapy, and then we're going to do a quickstart.py, or that's going to be your script running the bot. So if you guys watched my last video, that video has been depreciated, and this is the new updated version for 2019. And uh, yeah, so the first thing to do is installing Python. So let's go over to python.org. Also, I'm doing everything in a virtual machine, so this all should be very similar to what you guys are doing if you've never installed Python before, if you've never done package installs. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna type in python.org. And I'll have all the links down in the description below as well. Let me make this bigger. And you are going to want to download the latest version of Python. And right now it's Python 3.7.2. But if you're watching this at a later time, make sure you up or you download the latest version. So I'm gonna hit on Python 3.7.2 and it should start. And make sure you click add Python 3.7 to path. And then after you do that, hit install now. Yes. Also make sure you have administrative permissions to do all this because if you don't, if you're not doing this on an administrator, you're probably gonna have a lot of uh, problems later on because you're not gonna be able to download the latest or all the packages. All right, so setup was was successful. I'm gonna hit close. And I'm gonna minimize this, and now I'm gonna search for Python. Python. I think I hit the wrong one. Python. Ah. I want idle. I found the wrong one. That's exe. Okay, this is what I'm wanting. Python 3.7, 32-bit, open file location. There we go. Idle, this is what I'm wanting. So I'm gonna hit this and I'm actually going to send a desktop because I just want this as a shortcut so I can work with it later. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna open file location on Python idle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the scripts folder and I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna copy this directory up here, I'm gonna go up here, copy. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the command prompt. So I'm gonna type in CMD. If you don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm basically setting it up so we can do a pip install of Instapy. If you don't know what pip is, pip is a package installer. Um, some people, I'm, I'm not gonna show you how to do it, or I'm not gonna show you how to add pip to the path. Rather, I'm just gonna show you how to go directly into the directory and just copy the file location and then just go into that file location to do the pip install. So you'll you'll understand it and you'll get the bot up and working if you follow my directions. So right again, I'm inside of you know the Python folder from the idle. And then I went over here to idle, I opened file location. Now I'm in that file location. And I'm in and I go into scripts and I'm gonna copy that that directory now I'm gonna go back over here to the command command prompt I can type correctly CMD there we go so now you have the command prop prompt open and we are going to change directory into this directory right here. So I already copied it. Now I'm just gonna type in cd 
space, and then I'm going to copy that directory. And I'm going to hit enter. Now you can see that I am inside of this directory. So now what we can do is we can do pip install instapy. So I'm going to type pip install instapy. And what this is going to do is it's going to install all the necessary packages and the Chrome driver for instapy to work. You can see right now it's downloading future. It is going to download requests and a bunch of other things right now. All right, once that is done, you should see that it uh, successfully installed you know, all these other packages, and you might get this error saying that you're using an older version of pip. That doesn't matter. Um, you can actually just disregard that. So I'm gonna click X on that. Now, let's go ahead and let's get a, uh, uh, a template. So I'm gonna go over to Google Chrome. And I'm going to type in Instapy. All right, here we go. So this right here is the Instapy GitHub. And if you go down here, this is the quick start templates. This right here will be very helpful for you if you're new to Python and you're just wanting to get a bot up and running. As you can see right here, it's really easy. All you have to do is copy the template you'd like into the root folder of Instapy. I'll explain that in a second, but let's grab a uh, let's grab a template that we'll want to work with. So just basic follow unfollow activity, like by tag, playing around with quota, supervision. Uh, let's just do the basic follow and unfollow activity because that's what most bots on Instagram are doing anyways, just uh, following and unfollowing. So I'm going to copy this entire script. I'm just going to go down here. And I'm gonna copy this, control C. And let me minimize this. Now, it said that we needed the quick start or the uh, the template to be in the same root as the, uh, the Instapy folder. So what you wanna do is you wanna go back to your Python, back to your Python directory. So actually, I'm gonna show you how to do this if you're starting back over from scratch. I'm gonna go over here I'm going to go to open file location. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go into, I think, libs. Let's see if it's libs. Nope, it's not libs. Is it lib? I think you're wanting to go into site packages. Yep, go to site packages. And where is Instapy? There we go. So this right here is Instapy. I know it's kind of a mess because you have a bunch of all the other packages and then down here you're gonna have your quick start, but yeah, you want to go to Python, Python 3732 or whatever version you're running, and then you want to go to lib, and then you want to go to site packages. And down here, I'm actually going to make a new folder or a new file. Come on, new. Uh, do, I don't know, quickstart.py. As you can see, I don't have all the other extensions on my other files. I need to enable it that, but make sure you do the .py extension if you're making it from a, if you just clicked on the text document so it can know that it's a uh, Python file. All right, quickstart.py. Let's go to edit this. And I'm not sure why it did not do that. Hold on, we go over here view hidden items name extensions there we go so make sure you're on view and make sure you do file name extensions because this right here is why it's not showing up so let me let me rename this let me get rid of this dot txt yes there we go now you can see the little python logo right there so i'm going to click on this ah. 
and I'm going to do edit with idle, edit with idle. And there we go. So now I can paste all that in there. Now let me make this a little bit bigger for all you guys to see. Actually, I'll just make this bigger. And you know what? I'm going to... I'm actually going to make it black because I like my, bl my thing black. There we go. I like that a lot more. So hopefully you guys can see the code a lot more. But there's a bunch of stuff down here. But right now, just to show you that it's up and working, right here is where you put in your login credentials. So I'm going to put in my username and my password. So and here we go. Now when I run this, it's going to here we go function f5. When I run this, it's going to ask me because I have uh, two-factor authentication on. But here we go. Now you can see that it's running. I'm going to allow access. Come on. There we go. So now, as you can see, now it's going to put all of my credentials inside of the box, and it's going to log in, and it's going to send me a message because I have two-factor authentication on. So hold on, let me put that on right now. Here we go. One, here we go. Confirm. Hopefully, it didn't crash the bot. Did it crash? I hope it didn't. And right here with the shell, you can see that it's actually uh, it's creating a cookie. And you can see all the stuff that it's doing. All right, so as you can see, it is now following followers of whoever user two is. And of course, you can go in here and you can actually, um, you can adjust who the people you're going to be following and unfollowing are. So for example, right here, session.follow user follow user followers, user one, user two, user three. So you need to go in there and change that to the users that you want to target. And then right here, it's going to be uh, the second step of massive follower. So session follow users by randomize false, interact false. So it's just doing exactly what the script is telling it to do. But I highly recommend that you guys go watch a couple of Python tutorials and understand the syntax and know how Python's how Python works so you guys can get a feel on how to make your bot do what you want it to do. All right. So I just ended the session. I just wanted to show you guys a little demo of what's actually happening. Um, as you can see right over here, the reason why it followed to me, I didn't even know is because it says session, follow users, followers, uh, user one, user two, user three. Right in here, you can put in whoever you'd like. So I could put, uh, I don't know, Ty Lopez. And over here, I could go put, I don't know, Arduino.cc or whatever. And this is a list. So you actually, you could even add more than that. You could do blah, 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 blah. So you can put in however many you'd want. And then, of course, there's randomized, which is false, interact, which is false. There's a ton of different stuff that you can do. But what I highly recommend is I highly recommend that you go and you read the documentation on GitHub. So let me go over here and show you guys. So if we go over to code, come on. As you can see down here, it shows you how to install and how you can update and everything. Um, if you're running the script, if it's been a while since you've run the script, make sure you do a pip install instapy-u. This will make sure everything is up to date because instapy or because Instagram updates the layout of their web page. That's how this uh, bot works. And make sure you guys read the uh, the documentation. This will show you everything you need to know on how to get the bot to do the stuff that you want it to do. 
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more, and please leave a comment if you have any feedback or questions or need help with installing Instapy or have questions about it. And uh, contact me via website if you want me to grow your account for you. This is a service that I do offer. I've been growing accounts for a little over a year now, so I know how to get them up and uh, getting followers. So, yeah, thank you guys very much, and uh, see you guys next week.